Hello everybody and welcome back. I know it's been a while since we've uh, done a game news roundup or at least since I've recorded one specifically here for YouTube. But today, specifically, we're going to talk about Xbox Game Pass, which currently, most recent announcement from Xbox or Microsoft, um, Game Pass is around thir over 34 million units uh units 34 million subscribers i'm just saying units or shipped or whatever sales but the number of subscribers is over 34 million now interesting enough if anyone here knows who michael pactor is wed bush analyst michael pactor in his latest pactor factor made a prediction he expects to see xbox game pass to grow to over 200 million subscribers in 10 years so he's saying in 2034 there'll be over 200 million people subscribed to game pass i'll get into my thoughts on this but let's read let's quote read his quote here i do think game pass is going to become huge i do think the number is going to be 200 million subscribe 200 million plus subscribers i i've been saying this that in the next 10 years i think it'll get to 200 million and I'll make that bet with anybody. I promise I'll pay. It will be $200 million in the next 10 years. They, referring to Microsoft or Xbox, are that committed to Game Pass. I don't think new subscribers have dried up. The huge acquisition were really just Bethesda, which is starting to show some traction. Um, and then Activision, which has no traction yet because the first title hasn't shown up yet. This was recorded just before Diablo 4 came to Game Pass. Diablo 4 literally just hit Game Pass I believe it was at the very end of March, beginning. Actually, I can just open up this and open up the article I wrote on. What's the exact date here? Um, so yeah, Diablo 4. Um, where is it? There it is, my goodness. I apparently can't see it all. Diablo 4 came to Game Pass on Xbox and PC on March 28th. The first Activision Blizzard game to come to Game Pass. Um, and Microsoft was also previously saying um, future Activision Blizzard games will be coming day and date to Game Pass, which likely means Call of Duty 2024 will be coming to Game Pass day one. Um, which I'm sure Game Pass will... Uh, Game Pass. Call, Call of Duty will help grow the number of subscribers on Game Pass. Do I think Game Pass will get to over 200 million subscribers in 10 years? Personally? Not a chance. I, I think that's way too unrealistic. Yes, you said gaming's growing. Maybe people grow more in subscriber. You know, in subscription services. But if you look at the subscription services, I'm fairly certain Netflix is the only subscription service out there that has over 200 million subs. Uh, D Disney Plus doesn't. I think Disney technically would say they do, but it's only if you combine Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus combined to be over 200 million. And obviously, if someone is subscribed to all three, that counts as three subscriptions. They have one. You have a package of all three. So in reality, I'm pretty sure Netflix is the only one with over 200 million subscribers. Uh, Game Pass, do I think the number of subscribers has dried up and it's not really going to grow much anymore? No. I think Call of Duty with it being day and date on game pass we'll be adding millions of new subscribers uh obviously as more bethesda uh games and everything else now that microsoft has a much bigger stable of first party studios and all of those coming to game pass day one yes i think game pass should eventually be able to go to maybe 50 to 60 million things that seems the more realistic number 50 to 60 million subscribers on xbox game pass in the future because i'm pretty sure also playstation plus um, is just under 50 million subscribers. But obviously, PlayStation Plus is only available on PlayStation. I mean, it is required to play games online. But um, but that is what's available on PlayStation only. Well, obviously, as you know, Game Pass is available. Obviously, on Xbox, most of the subscribers currently are on Xbox. But also, what we're on right now, uh, or what I'm recording this on, I guess, technically, on your PC, on your laptop or whatever, and even on your phone through Xbox Cloud Gaming, which of course does require the more expensive Xbox Game Pass Ultimate tier in order to play um, those games on your phone, and you obviously have to fast enough internet to be able to play them, but yeah. Do I think, do I, do I think Michael Pactor, do I think his prediction 200 million is, is feasible? No, I, I, I personally don't. I, I think in 50 to 60 million in, in the 10 years, with Call of Duty coming day and date, um, on Game Pass, that that that's probably the being the biggest driver going forward. Other future Blizzard games. I know some people say, well, World of Warcraft coming to Game Pass. I don't really see that be 
becoming a thing. World of Warcraft, if my memory serves me correctly, is $15 a month. Game Pass is $10 for PC Game Pass. I want to say it's $11 for Game Pass on console. And Xbox Game Pass, the ultimate tier, which includes all versions of Game Pass and EA Play and some other stuff, um, is $17 a month. Do I think they're just going to throw in WoW? Probably not. Could I see a bundle? A Game Pass Ultimate and say World of Warcraft bundle for a discount? Because $15 plus, say, $17 is $32. Maybe see a discount of, say, $25. Maybe we could see that. Or if maybe if the price of Game Pass Ultimate goes up enough. But I would say maybe we'll see a bundle. We get get, get them together. Um, that's my guess. But again, we haven't heard anything. And it just seems kind of crazy they'd be losing a lot of money if they did bundle them together. But obviously, that also would see a huge growth in the number of subscribers. And another possible way to see a lot of growth uh -huh, is most people who play games on your PC, most people use Steam. Vast majority, I want to say it's over 90% uh, market share for Steam on PC. And then obviously, they say there's the Xbox app on PC as well as Epic Game Store. Um, could Microsoft work out a deal with Valve to potentially get version of Game Pass available on Steam. Question is, how much would Valve want as a cut of that? That is the other question. Because Valve, Gabe Newell, has said he's open to working out a deal with Microsoft. It's just trying to work out a deal that's feasible and make sure Game Pass is still profitable for people who subscribe to it on Steam and whatnot. And Valve, I'm sure, would want whatever percent of a cut. Because normally, Valve's cut on Steam for game sales is 30% um, of game sales. Um, they took 30% of Game Pass... Do the math there. Game Pass, $10 a month for PC Game Pass. That means they'd be taking $3 out of every subscription on Steam. Or Microsoft might just focus on trying to grow the Xbox Game Pass on the own Xbox app on PC. But, yeah. Again, do I think Game Pass will get to 200 million subscribers? No. 50 to 60 million? Probably in 10 years with Call of Duty day and day and whatnot. So... So yeah, let me know what you think. Where do you see Game Pass growing to in the next 10 years? How much do you think Call of Duty is going to add or any other major games? What other things do you think Microsoft could do to help grow Game Pass over the next bunch of years? And obviously the price of Game Pass I know will probably keep going up. It had its first price increase last year. I see it still going up a little bit every maybe, I, don't know, I guess we'll see every few years. Maybe it'll go up another dollar, a couple dollars or so. But, um, but yeah, again... Pretty sure Netflix is the only any subscription service that actually has over 200 million subscribers. Um, but anyways, thank you all so much for watching this quick little game news roundup. If you, as always, if you've enjoyed, be sure to subscribe for more gaming news. Um, that would be a difficult. Uh, hold on, we got here from Emerald. Am I? I'm currently covering them. That would be a difficult to create deal. Game Pass and Steam do most of the same thing. Yeah, that is true. I mean, that is one way to help grow Game Pass. If it's on Steam, more people probably want to subscribe to it. Maybe it was limited to just first-party Xbox games, be meaning, well, anything under the Xbox Game Studios umbrella, the Bethesda umbrella and Activision Blizzard umbrella, because now Activision Blizzard um, is part of Xbox. Because there's three umbrellas. You say there's three umbrellas under Xbox? There's the Xbox Game Studios, which is like, you know, you think, okay, obviously, 343, uh, you know, developers of Halo, the Coalition developers of Gears of War... Um, Turn 10 and uh, Playground Games, the Forza Motorsport, Forza Horizon developers, uh, Double Fine, Obsidian Entertainment, and a bunch of studios. Obviously, Bethesda is, well, Bethesda is the one you think of, but also it's Software, Machine Games, and a bunch of others. And Activision Blizzard, well, Activision at this point is mainly just Call of Duty at this point. And then Blizzard, which obviously World of Warcraft, Overwatch, um, Diablo, and whatnot. So, anyways... Yeah, I don't know. That does not seem likely. And now, if Microsoft could acquire Valve, would they? Probably. Would that ever be passed by regulators? Not a chance. There's no way. Microsoft had too much difficulty acquiring Activision Blizzard from regulators, at least in the UK and the US. That acquiring Valve would be pushing it, because you know, Valve has like a 90% plus uh, market share on PC gaming. Um, out of all the options. So, mind you, uh, I'm pretty sure Valve is still a privately owned company. If you don't know that. Um, and Game Mule is getting older, so maybe either he'll just pass it on to other people who run the company. Or he'll look at selling it. But the only people I think who could have realistically afford Valve 
Microsoft would make the most sense, but regulators, I don't see them um, allowing that acquisition to actually go through at any point. Um, so, yeah, I don't. I don't know. But, yeah. Again, 50, 60 million, I think, is realistic in 10 years for Game Pass. Because Call of Duty, again, will be adding millions over the next bunch of years um, as it's day and date on Game Pass. Um, but... Anyways. Oh, and also, speaking of Call of Duty, it is rumored that the next Call of Duty will be announced at this year's Xbox Showcase in June. The usual annual showcase. Um, this, this is because um, Sony's deal, marketing rights deal with Activision has ended. And obviously, Microsoft was not going to renew that. They're going to make sure Call of Duty advertisement will all be about Xbox and Game Pass going forward. So... Anyways, that's enough of me rambling. Hope you all enjoyed it. Again, if you have, be sure to subscribe for more gaming news gaming let's plays and whatnot if you want to watch this live twitch.tv slash trunks w and again as always hit the like button be sure to leave a comment down below and thank you all so much for watching